Hello everyone, it's another part of Suzuki Bakuhatsu. We are doing another row of two bombs. And we're getting pretty close to the end of the game, so hopefully we'll get some really good bombs. So let's just get past the screen now and check out what we have available. We have two available, like always. Uh, we can either go for the right side, which gives us a 627, or we can go left and literally go to all zeros, which should be the final puzzle. We're not doing it though. We're not doing the final bomb just yet. We are actually going to not bother with this and move on to 627. We'll see what that's all about right now. Because when you're in the end, And we begin with a silhouette bomb. Yes, our own shadow is a fucking bomb. All we have to do is just knock those down, get the hammers, okay, that one, and okay. Okay, this isn't that bad now because that's the only thing that will fuck us over. We just have to make sure we unscrew all this shit in the time of We got a lot of time. We got enough time. And it's all unscrewed. Uh, then we can just cut the wire that is needed to be cut. And I think the wire that gets cut is the one that's not selected immediately. So, the left one. I think that's blue. <sighs> that wasn't so bad. I actually think that was kind of easy, really. But there's not much to talk about this one either. Uh, might as well go ahead and explore it. But uh, there's really not much to really talk about. Um, there's not much to really explore of it. Especially since it's all black. Like, you can see a silhouette of Suzuki, Bagahatsu. But uh, as you can see, both sides had the same puzzle. Only one difference is made on these sides. But. Right now we'll investigate everything. There's no hint pads, you, it's all black, so it's not like you can see them. And uh, there's a whole bunch of screws we can mess with. We can mess with that, we can mess with, we can check out those screws, we can check out the hammers. Uh, all those screws behind the hammers literally say the same as the screws that don't have hammers behind them, which is, I guess, you know, screw. And there's that gear there that moves that around. I'm, I don't know what the fuck that is in the bottom. But I'm pretty sure if those things touch it, something bad will happen. So we gotta make sure it doesn't touch it. On easy, it's very slow, that little four ball there. If we zoom in, we can actually see more. We can investigate more. We have this little box, which does something and push that little scissors there. And we have this. Uh, don't know what that is, but it has a ball on it, so that's not good. And we have two of these balls right up here on their strings. I forgot the name of these things. I'm pretty sure you haven't because you're using Google or probably, but for me, I don't know. And to my left is the actual bomb, the wires and everything there. But this is just right next to it. It's a weird puzzle and I don't get it much with why this is like a thing in my shadow apparently. But uh, as you can see, if you look at this, this side, it actually shows you the time. Yeah, that's the only time you actually get shown the time. Uh, every other point, yeah, it's like that. And it's all stretchy and shit. It's weird. So, yeah, once we pull that up, it starts. And it's very slow. So we have enough reaction time to get through this. Uh, on hard, though, as you saw, it kind of tricks you by having the right go fast and be first. Or the left side is last. Now... I'm actually going to fail by the wire because you might be thinking because both wires are black you can't really have a color and you can't really tell which wire is the right one. You might be thinking, well, maybe we just cut either of them and we win. 
Well, I'm out to investigate and tell you not that there. is not the case. It'll tell you this, not. and that says the same thing. And then you cut this wire right here, which is the red wire, and obviously you fail, like so. And there you go. I don't know what the fuck happened to our shadow, but it apparently ceased existing, and uh, there you go. Only one thing left to do is to fail that little puzzle there. Which is easy, all I have to do is not move this gear at all and just like, does it for me. And that's it! So, now that's done, now the uh, I'm guessing, I'll call it the shadow, but I like to call it the silhouette, is done. Uh, we can now move on to our next bomb, which is hopefully going to be harder than this. Hopefully. Maybe. Let's go. Sugoi. Save shinai? Now, I would talk here, but I can't. Yep, we don't get a choice in this. We're forced into this bomb. I'll call it the uh, lock bomb. The door lock. Some people call it the doorknob. As you can see, we got a about weird gear here. Uh, I should screw this. Oh shit, we don't have much time. Uh, okay, just there. Okay, unscrew that. Good. And then next one. Uh, go back over here. Oh god, I fucked up, didn't I? Okay, so that's the center of the gold there. And then sets the bronze there. And then sets the green there. And there you go. I've done it. Okay, unscrew this bitch. Done. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Moving forward, we have... What the fuck is this? We okay, have to unscrew this one. Oh, fuck me, I don't have much time. Uh, unscrew this. And uh, just, just screw. Screw it. That way. That way. Keep screwing that way. Do not stop screwing that way. That way is good way. Da no, no, don't go that way. That's bad way. Yes. Good. Unscrewed. Okay. We're actually nearly done. Okay. That's moving on its own. Oh, fuck. Uh, this way, this way, this way. Come on. This way. Okay. Okay, unscrew. Come on. Unscrew. Okay, m wrong way. Wrong. Oh god, it's moving it. Oh fuck, it's moving it. Okay. Okay, unscrew this. One, two, three. Okay. That way. It's not a one. Unscrew that. One, two, three. And move that way. Unscrew that. And we're done with this puzzle. Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of time. We've got a lot of time. Wait, which one should I cut? Uh, red one, because the way that was going, that little scissor thing there, it was going to the blue. And we're done. That was pretty easy. Now, there's not much with this one either, but there's a lot more to deal with here. At least there's a lot more to show off. So, let's go ahead, go to the lock and deal with it. Um, with this one I got a lot more time, even though I had a lot of time left over before. Seven minutes. As you can see, we got the door here. It has a hint pad, as well as some fake screws. And no, you cannot unscrew these. I wish I could, but you can't. So don't bother. They all say the same thing anyway. 
Here, I'll try it for you. See, I can't even lock onto them. You can only go forward, so that's what we're doing. Right into the lock. And now we're here. This little rainbow text here, and then this shit. We got a hint pad to our left. It says this. Now, when it comes to the screw part, the way this works, the yeah, best man. way to work through this, is to basically make sure you're yeah. screwing it the right way. By the way, mm -hmm. have you noticed that uh, it's actually targeting spots that mm -hmm. there's no screws on? Mm -hmm. I'll be wondering why it's doing that. You're about to find out. Let's uh, go ahead and screw with this. By the way, when you start screwing this, it starts. So, let's move around a bit. There's one over here. Stop the gold there. Move it over there. And yep, it's a hint pad. Let's have a look at it right now and see what it says. It says a lot. It says a fucking lot. I wish I could understand because it seems like a big hint. But sadly, I don't understand the goddamn kanji. I can't understand Japanese. So, I'm afraid I'm unable to answer any kind of questions what you have about what the fuck that says. I'm sure someone out there will help us, but right now I got nothing. This one's smaller though, so you don't have to worry too much about this one. Because all it says is this. And there you go. Now, we have two screws. One over there and one over there. They're obviously indicated by this little bumps on the sides. All we have to do is make sure we're targeting very well over that way. And make sure the gold is there first and the Got bronze it. and the green. That way we can actually go and unscrew the screws which say the same thing. Screw, I'm, I'm hoping it says screw. And then, unscrew them. Move the rounds, go the same way, do the same thing. Gold first, then bronze, then green. And then you're done. Now, of course, on hard to be rushed to this, but on easy, I am not, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Alright, so now that one's done, the next one is inside here, further inside the lock. There is this one, it has a moving block, and uh, it has a few more things, but it also has this, a detonator. Might be wondering what the okay. fuck the point of the detonator is. Why is there a detonator? Why the hell would they put a detonator right there? Well, it's one of the ways I can fail this that doesn't involve screwing up too badly. You see, you can't get the box outside this little place here, so you have to make sure that, you know, you just make sure it doesn't connect with the gold because it will. And once it gets the gold, you're basically going to be stuck with it. So what if I just kept moving this way and, uh, you know, activate the detonator? I'm actually going to go the other way because I'm curious on what happens if you go the other way. So let's see what happens if you activate the detonator, like so. And that is so far the best game over scene I have seen this game so far. I'm not kidding. I felt that was a bit rewarding for fucking up there. That was like amazing. And that's not the longest one I found. So the next one, we're going through the puzzle and going back to that scissor shit. As soon as you go forward, it starts. Now, this goal will be pushed by the bronze. You can actually push the bronze forward as well. You don't want to do that. All you have to do is make sure you can screw this all the way to unscrew these four screws and that's it. Before the scissors actually cut the blue wire. Now, of course, you already saw it cut the blue wire. So there's no point in me actually showing that happen again. But I can indeed show you this shit. As you can see, all the screws say screw again. Because, you know, not that original, but you did notice there were two spots where it was looking at something, and yep, they're all hint pads. So here's the first one, says that. There you go. 
And the second one's on the other side. So we have to unscrew all this shit. And then we just have to base have a look at that hint pad. And we're done with the hint pad shit. In fact, all we have left is the wires after this. So, yeah, pretty simple. Now, of course, there is no timer, but you are a bit rushed because of that fucking scissors over there. There's your second and last hint. But it doesn't go too fast, and it's really simple to go through. So all you have to do is make sure you stay on that side, touch around when you want to unscrew these, and that's it. Very simple. All that's left is the wires, which I'm going to cut the wrong wire, which is the blue one. By the way, you can zoom out all the way like that. I'm going to cut the blue one because I don't want to see a success screen here. And I just want to see that FMV again. I just want to see that game over screen again. So we're going to fail it by cutting the wires again. And we know it's the blue one. So... That's fucking magnificent. I love that. Oh, um, man, it's my favorite one so far. So, yeah. That is it for the uh, door lock. I'll just call it the lock. And uh, you can also call it the doorknob if you want. I'm calling it the lock. So, that's it for that bomb. But here's the thing. There is something else after this. Something we don't want right now. Special <sighs> air! I'm sorry for pausing it right there and not letting you see that bomb because yeah that is the last bomb we're about to encounter and we're not encountering it next part or in this part for that matter we're gonna be encountering that at the end of the LP because before I even go and do that fucking bomb I'm going to go back and do all the bombs we've missed so far so this LP will continue because I'll be going back and going through every single bomb on hard and easy to not only show you a pretty good SA run on them, but also to check out everything, to show you everything that is worth seeing. So yeah, I mean I want to show this bomb, but I'm not going to. We're going to go back all the way back to the first decision, next part. And we're going to do the fucking bombs that we have not done yet. So, and if you thought this shit was weird so far, it gets weirder. It gets fucking weirder, and I love it. So, next time, we're going back, and we're doing the missed bombs. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys 
next time. Oh boy.